So I have one last command. And this is moving things, because sometimes I just want to move it. So if I'm in Windows and I want to move something, what I can do is I can cut and paste, drag and drop, several different options. So let's say I, know, I have a copy of Visual Studio, and I know that I've copied this. So one of the things that I can do is I can drag and drop it to where I want it in there. Oh, I can see it in there. And then I'm going to back up. Another way is to cut and paste. I can right click and cut and then move into the spot and paste. Or because I'm a keyboard sort of a girl, I can do a control C or excuse me, a control X, which is cut, move into the space and control V to paste. Control X is cut, control C is copy. So drag and drop or cut and paste, either one is acceptable. In DOS, if I want to move things in DOS, I'm going to use the move command, M-O-V-E. So let's see what's in here. So it looks like I have two files, two folder, excuse me, two files. Let's see if I can move one of those two files into a directory that I have created. So let's take myfile.txt. I'm going to move myfile.txt. And since it's sitting in the same directory that I happen to be sitting in, then life is good. Then I'm going to give it the path of the file name that, or the path that I would like to put it where I want to put it. So I'm going to put it in C colon backslash backslash a sunderland backslash. I'm going to give it a name. My file dot txt. My file txt. So it would be the path in the file name, the path in the file name. If I happen to be sitting in the direction where the file is, then I just put the name of the file. Then I would put the entire path of where I want it to move to. The nice thing is this, that I can be sitting anywhere and move it from anywhere to anywhere else as long as I know the path, the full path of how to find it. Now I found that path because my cursor tells me the path of where I happen to be. C colon backslash users backslash a Sunderland. That's where I happen to be sitting. And so I'm trying to put it in. Did I tell it? Nope. I wanted to put it into a new folder. Let's put it into DOS folder version 3, which means that if I want to move it into a child, I should probably come back here and put the name of the subdirectory, DOS folder version 3. And then I'm going to use the slash on the name of the file that I would like it to be moved too. But you got to love a command line interface because you have to have all the commands right. Let's try our luck. Let's see if we have any better luck in Linux. Well, in Linux, we have already done this. We've already used the, the move command, right? We've already used, that's what rename was. I don't actually <coughs> move a file or rename a file. I just move it to a new file name. So I can also move it to a new place. So let's see if we can get this to work in Linux. I'm going to use the move command. And then I'm going to use the old file name and the let's so the old file name. Let's try to move a file into a directory. So we're going to move your file one, and I'm going to see if I can move it into a folder. Give it a new file name. I moved your file one. See if he's still there. He's gone. And then I'm going to change directory into Wednesday folder. See if he's in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suffice it to say I'm reasonably shocked and thoroughly satisfied. So let's exit out of Windows. If I want to get out of the Windows, I just press the X. If I want to get out of DOS, I'm just going to type exit and this will shut down. Box. If I want to get out of Linux, I'm going to type exit. This is going to end my session. If you just press the X on the box, the session is still open on the Icarus server. And so you want to type exit to make sure that you are closing down your session. Yes, sir. Did logout take you out as well? Excellent. Very good. The point is that we want to exit out as opposed to just shutting it down because then that session will remain open on Icarus. I wanted to make it clear that the DOS command prompt and the Windows are actually pointing at this machine that I happen to be sitting on. I have been looking, the DOS has been looking at a different 
folder or directory, then Windows has this entire time. But if I move my DOS to what Windows has been looking at, if you'll notice in Windows that I've been sitting in my documents, I can see that I'm under my, this is my personal documents, I under my documents. So if I go to the same location, if I click in this bar, it will tell me that I am under my user profile under documents. And so if I were to go there, let's see if I can find where it is. So I see that there's a directory in here called documents. So I'm going to see document, and this is where I have been in Windows the whole entire time. And so all of the changes that I make in Windows, let's say for instance that I go into Windows and I delete one of these spreadsheets, um, let's just delete one, or let's delete a second one, and then or let's delete a third one. If I go back into my DOS and I refresh my view, they should be gone. If I come in here and I copy, make another copy of this, make five or six copies, and I refresh my view in DOS, I should have a whole bunch more copies because now my DOS prompt and my Windows box are pointing at the same directory. I just wanted to make it clear that the DOS is actually looking at the same place as my Windows was. I just wasn't sitting in the same place for either one of them. As soon as I move DOS, or for that matter, move my windows so that they are looking at the same place, any changes I, s I make would automatically be reflected in the other view or the other version. Now, Linux is obviously on my profile or my uh, session is on some server in the upstairs of the Tech Ed building on the Ogden campus. <coughs> but these two windows are looking at the exact same computer. Therefore, any changes I make in one reflect in the other view. It's just two ways of viewing the exact same machine.